Triumph Street Triple. The bike has done 4,218 miles. It's really, really nice condition. Comes with a custom paint job. It's got an SP Engineering carbon fibre exhaust. It doesn't currently have a baffle in it, but it, you can buy baffles for them. It's got some nice modifications on it and it's in really nice condition I'm going to take you around the bike now so this is the second time we've seen this bike we actually had it last year we we sold it to a customer and then we just recently taken it back in part exchange somebody traded it in for a different bike and when we had it last year it was a little bit different so the custom paint job was the satin white paint and then these stripes were like a, a purpley, a purpley paint that ran down there under the tank and down the front mud, mud guard. And those purple stripes are still there. So the theme has changed now by having some black panels on the bike, namely, so we've got these two panels on the back are both black and obviously then we've got the fly screen is black didn't look quite right with the uh, the purple stripes in our opinion so we've now got the high gloss black stripes which goes nice with the high gloss black metallic panels but if you want purple stripes peel the uh, peel these off you've got Lovely purple paint sat right beneath there. But as it looks, it does its for sale. So the fly screen's in good condition. If you get up close, you're gonna see a couple of stone chips in places, but you know, there's no damage on there. Same with the headlights. There's a couple of stone chips in places, but there is no damage at all. Front mud guard, perfect condition. As I said, it's got these vinyl stripes on there, but there is no damage at all. Radiator all looks okay. It's obviously got signs of use, but there's no damage, no holes, no repairs I can see. Front tire is in perfect condition. Loads of tread. It's got all of its shape. Fork legs are in nice condition. Got braided lines on the bike. The wheels are like a sort of a, a graphite grey metallic -y colour, and the brake discs are in good condition as are the fork legs. Headers are in nice condition. This is a kind of a, a satin painted colour. Again, a couple of stone chips on there. Nothing to worry about. Got these nice bar and mirrors. Again, no damage, but they're a bit small, you can't see a lot. They're uh, like a black anodised, and you've got a tiny little sort of rub on the end of that. Got these black anodised levers, and they're reach adjustable. And all the cockpit is in really nice, tidy condition. So you've got a gear indicator on there too. All the tanks in good condition, like I previously said. You know, these are vinyl stripes sat on top of paintwork. The Triumph is in the paint. It's actually painted on there, not stickers. No damage at all to the tank. Can't see any stone chips at all. Seat's in nice condition. And then the seat cowl sits over the seat. So it's not a two piece seat. It is a, a single piece seat with a seat cowl on top. Belly pan is in the same satin white as you've got for the rest of the paint. No damage at all to the engine. Uh, yeah, they're actually, I remember, sorry now, I forgot. They're a brand new set of tires. We fitted them when the bike got here. So those tires have done nothing at all other than uh, the road test when they were fitted. No damage at all to the rear foot brake. 
Hero blobs are still on, never touched the floor. There is a tiny little scratch there. Uh, there's no damage at all to the crash bung. I would say something has, has marked that at some point, but I can't see any evidence at all that the bike has been on its side. It's definitely not been crashed. If they've been crashed, these chamfer away, and that obviously hasn't done that. But you know, it's touched something or something has touched it at some point. The swing arm is all undamaged. There's a couple of marks on the bottom which are from the paddock stand. So when you put paddock stands on there, the design of the strict triple is a bit daft in the sense of the paddock stand lugs sit in board of the edge of the swing arm. So what happens is when people go and put a paddock stand on, they catch their own swing arm. It's a silly design, but it, you know, it's not damaged, but it is there. Rear wheel, as you can see, it's lovely. Got this really nice carbon fibre rear hugger, and it, it's actually carbon fibre, it's not hydrodict, which is nice to see. Got the tail tidy on, no damage at all to the rear lights. And like I said, it is a brand new set of tyres. Chain needs a clean up, but it's got loads of life in it. And the, uh, the carbon fibre thing carries on with a nice chain guard. Exactly the same on this side with paddock stand marks on the swing arm, but there's no damage. And then again, tiniest mark on there, but it's not crash damage. That foot peg's never been down. No marks on there. No marks on this side on the seat or the tank or the engine case or the belly pan. No marks on the crash bobbin. That's just dust on there. No mark on the indicator. A couple of marks around, just paint missing really, around the mirrors. There's no scuffing or scratches. So yeah, a really, really nice condition bike. This panel's about the same, so there's a couple of stone chips, but that's it. So yeah, a really, really nice, really unique Triumph Street Triple. You're not gonna pull up anywhere and find one exactly the same, that's for sure. But it's all done very tastefully and there's nothing sort of gaudy about it at all. Uh, you can see the bike in our showroom in Sittingbourne and we're open nine till five, Tuesday to Saturday. If you've got any questions, just let us know.